long block. Of course, the stab is always going to have the best range. Usually, overhead attack will deal the most damage, though. There isn't much to say. It's just, yeah, you walk around brawling. I probably will do this several times. I won't force you to watch it. It can get kind of boring after a while. Especially if you're just watching me play. Unless you really want me to see it, to see me do it, I could just cut it out. And then just, you know, come back and say, hey, so I played some more rounds. So you just do this for money and experience, and that's about it. I mean, it's fun, like, the first few times you do it, but after a while, it just gets starts to get really stale. Plus, there's no blood. That's no fun. Great. Yeah, the shields they give you, though, are pretty crappy. They don't cover your feet. So, you gotta be careful of uh, getting shot in the foot by an archer. I love when that happens. Their spawn will start to speed up right about now once you start nearing about 20 opponents defeated. <laughs> it's like he was about to say, I surrender. Usually you just want to let them duke it out by themselves because if you manage to be the last man standing, you get a huge money bonus. It's like 250 dinars and you get like a 200 experience points too and that's a lot. So what you want to do is just last, like even if it doesn't mean you're constantly in combat. Alright, these both of these guys are going to come after me to make it quick. There we go. Yeah, see, look at how many of them there are now. You gotta be very careful that they don't all start coming for you like they are right now. I'm kind of screwed now. See? And I'm dead. And see, those were the last three guys, too, and they always team up on you, just about. <sighs> 60 DNRs for knocking down 21 opponents, that's not bad. I probably should actually go Sword and Shield, since that's the most survivable class for obvious reasons. Great. Of course, with a dagger, you can't block, so you just gotta get raped until you can finally score a hit. There we go. Come on. Drop the dagger, I don't need it. It's really frequent that arrows will just sail through people's heads and that sort of thing. It's, it's very annoying. And then, of course, my aim is right now really bad because I have no points put in power draw, which is the skill that increases your... That basically just makes you be a big, much bigger badass with a bow. There we go. I apologize for how stale this is probably going to be. Like I said, if you want me to cut out the arena brawls, just tell me. really just want to get rid of all the arrows in this quiver. If I run out, then I'll stop. 
So once you get really good at bows, you can just, like, headshot people from all the way across the map. And it, it gets pretty stupid if you start with a bow, because it's just, there's no point to fighting, because nobody can even get to you. Oh, that was stupid. The point of the sword has really bad hit detection, too. To the point where you, it just goes right through people. But when they do it, you know, it, it's just, it's classic video games. I don't mean to be complaining so much about the hit detection. It's just, it's, it can get very bothersome. This is really the way you get money and experience in the early game, because you can't obviously can't engage many war parties because your soldiers aren't very good, you don't have a lot of money, you don't have good equipment, you don't really have anything, so you, you just gotta find ways to engage people when you can. Looks like we're nearing the 15 people left mark, that's when the spawn rate gets ridiculous. Thankfully, they're all engaging each other this time, though, not me. The reason why I don't use the third-person camera to shoot is because the reticle is actually off, like, quick. So you're aiming at this guy's foot? No, I'm not aiming at this guy's foot. When you're in third-person camera, your aim is off. See, it'll still go in the same place. But it's just the reticle, like, lies to you. I wish it didn't do that, because if it didn't, then I would use a third-person camera to shoot, because it looks really cool. Shoot you in the face. Yep, now they're all coming after me. I'm screwed. Especially when the first guy is a shield, then you're just, there's no way you can beat them, because he's going to deflect every attack you make while everybody else just beats you down. Oh, this was kind of stupid, because since I only defeated 18 people, I got 25 instead of 60. That's annoying. Alright, one more round, then I'll do something else. <coughs> Oh, great. Sorry for the frame rate issues. I probably should adjust my graphic settings a little bit so that doesn't happen. Seems to be running a pretty solid frame rate up until now, and now it's just bugging out a little bit every time I move the camera around too fast. That was a really lucky block. I thought I was going to get stabbed. It would really hurt to get stabbed with a wooden sword. Just think about it for a minute. Fake. Nope, didn't work. I was really lucky. I thought I was going to get struck. Usually once you swing once, you should defend yourself. Unless you actually, unless it's the same person you you just scored the hit on, because usually one hit will lead to another one. Okay, lucky one hit kill. Another one. It's so another trick, if you kind of run at them, then back up, and then stop and swing, usually you can kind of fake them out with the range, like, what? that time I didn't have to do it. But if they don't defend themselves from your attack, he's probably going to defend himself. Well, he was smart, he tried to stab me. That's probably the smartest thing to do, is to just go for, a, just go for an attack like that that outranges them. I'll defend. Ooh. 
See, it's easy to misjudge the range, though, and then get struck, which is why I don't really recommend doing that too much. I've only defeated 17 guys, so I should probably... Now there are two more people coming at me. And I'm dead. Figures. Let's see what they got for sale. Hmm. I think I'll buy a bastard sword. So, the other cities it said it was taking place in are Tulga, there, Nara, which is over there, and Shariz, which is right there. Which, as you can see, are all about the same distance away. Except Tulga. Tulga is a little bit farther, but Nara and Shariz are both pretty freaking far away. I don't feel like going all the way over there. Yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode, however many episodes this is. This might be episode 2 or episode 3, depending on where I cut them. But, yeah, I, I'm i sorry about the lack of anything exciting happening. It's the early game. It's going to be a little boring. But once once the game kind of picks up, and then it, then it gets really fun, and I'd, I'd hope a lot more interesting to watch. So just hang in there. So I really appreciate watching, though, especially if this is like the third episode and you've hung in there that long. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you again. And yeah, I don't really have a very good outro prepared yet. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again. Bye.